Hello and welcome back my beautiful friends to a new video. This one is gonna be great. So for a while now I've been very interested in post-apocalyptic ideas uh, you know given current circumstances in the world <laughs> you never know what can happen but anyway I've been wanting to do something like this for a while and now that I've done this first piece it's really got my creative juices flowing I think I'm gonna be making more pieces similar to this within the same type of genre the same type of idea so why don't we go to the video I'll show you how I did it and look for some new techniques okay everybody so to get started all I'm gonna do here is just make a frame out of XPS foam this is going to be the frame for the dice tray just gonna use some hot glue and smush it together get it all nice and sturdy and that's pretty much it for the frame then I moved on and I used my hot wire cutter getting it nice and jagged really really jagged to make it look like just a pile of rubble a pile of garbage a pile of just refuse strewn all over the place so there I am just uh, making sure it's going to fit on the MDF base wanted to make sure that there's going to be an undercut to it and then it moved on started making some lumber now this is out of XPS foam as well and just using some strips using my favorite uh, tool the tweezers to make the wood grain on there and this is just going to be some random uh, pieces of lumber that have been thrown away the not good kind you know the the stuff that's been broken you know just to make it look really really yucky you know this is this is exactly what I was going for for this whole project is everything doesn't look good but will look good <laughs> So there I am breaking up those pieces that I just made, getting them all raggedy and jagged. And this is going to be put on one of the corners. Now I wanted to try and make each corner kind of a focal point uh, of different pieces of refuse. Um, as you'll see coming up here, there's, there's a few things that I've made that kind of it really stands out. So anyway, I wanted to make the corners kind of stand out more than the rest of it. So anyway, just finishing up here with these pieces of lumber, breaking them up, and making them look kind of bad. So then I moved on. Now this is a handy little tool that my wife got years and years ago. This is a corrugator uh, for paper. It's a scrapbooking tool. So I uh, kindly <laughs> borrowed it from her. And I think it's gonna stay in my office here. So anyway, this is, uh, you just run the paper through there. You can use full, thin pieces of foam and it corrugates it just like butter. So I just took that piece of paper, cut it up kind of in a jagged uh, way. So this is going to make sheet metal. Eventually I'm gonna get this all painted up and put on the, on the structure here. So every post-apocalyptic piece needs <laughs> sheet metal <laughs> corrugated metal so just gonna glue this now that I'm done with uh, hot wire cutting that foam and I'm good I'm happy with it so I put it on uh, the MDF base and then I took my beaded roller and I'm just using it to get some texture into it so after that was all done a little bit of uh, tacky glue and these are just a whole bunch of just small, small bits that I ripped off of foam. And this is, you know, kind of going to make it look like uh, pieces of concrete or just rocks that are kind of pushed up into this, this refuse pile. So this actually turned out really cool. Um, it was an easy and effective way to make uh, the, the, the structure fuller. So here you can see I'm starting to glue on those pieces of lumber that I made just in a jagged pattern you know no real rhyme or reason just whatever kind of look good I just threw it on there and then moving on to the corrugated sheets put them on the corner I would put three of those on there I wanted to kind of have them lift up give it a little bit more 3d a little more depth so and then this here was just some rubber plastic, I don't even know what the material was, um, kind of like fencing. 
It's what it looked like it to me, so I put that on there. Now this here, this is some 3D supports from another project that I got on the go. And it just, it looked like crane material. So I put that on and I thought that was really good. And then I just 3D printed up some smaller scatter pieces and uh, started gluing these on. There's some pallets, those were some tires just a little while ago there. And this is really starting to fill up this dice tray and it's starting to really look good. And here's just a, an all around view of what we got going on there. So it looks pretty horrible, but in a good way. <laughs> And so I really didn't know what to do for the inside of the dice tray. I didn't want to leave it smooth, like the foam that's uh, manufactured. I didn't want to leave it smooth. So I went to the, uh, the, the technique that I like to use just to rough up a, a smooth surface, which is uh, gluing on just some of that fine paper, that tissue paper. And that seems to really do exactly what I want. It gives it a little bit of texture. Once you dry brush, you'll really, really see the effect. So here's the brown paint and Mod Podge. I did the whole thing. Uh, I wanted brown because I wanted to use that coloring um, for, for like an undercoat. So you can see a little bit of that brown to come through when I start doing the painting and I start doing the uh, airbrushing. So I just started off with kind of like a butter color, a beige color from uh, for my airbrush here and I went over the whole thing I didn't completely cover the whole thing didn't get it really really nice and and solid because like I said I want some of that brown to show through but this is going to give me a base to work with then moving on to the pieces that I 3d printed and just gonna start painting up those uh, these tires get a little bit of black the wood obviously a brown color just, you know, starting to get all the separate pieces colored up and looking really, really good. Then I moved on to the actual base and I used a really interesting brown slash red color here. Now this is looking really, really vibrant right now, but everything is really going to be dulled down. Painting the rocks or the concrete here, a gray color. This is really starting to come together. So after that was pretty much where I wanted it as far as the base goes and, and all the uh, extras that I painted up. I just did a very light uh, gray, very light gray. I'm dry brushing all of this, the wood, the tires, all of it, giving some texture. And this is going to really, really show up once the black wash comes here. So here you'll notice how much that dry brush showed through. So it was a heavier dry brush, but with the colors that uh, are on this project, I kind of needed that heavy brush. So here's this new technique that I thought I'd try. I went to a store and I got some makeup. <laughs> I think this is called blush. I'm not too sure actually. But anyway, this is absolutely perfect for like a, a mica powder type idea. You know, just getting a little bit of that makeup, different coloring and brushing it on. It worked just perfectly. And I'm assuming that this is I don't know, a half decent <laughs> uh, makeup set, but I don't know. I don't wear makeup, so I'm not too, too sure, but it works great for this. So I was actually really happy with the, the colors that I found and how it turned out in the project. So one of the final things that I did was mixed up a little bit of toxic resin color. <laughs> and this is from, uh, this is for, the barrels that have rusted and rotted out and there's holes in there. And so I poured a tiny bit more than was needed because I wanted it to actually run down the side of the project, almost like it's dripping in real life onto uh, whatever table or 
or piece that you put it on. I wanted to make it look look like that was on purpose. And it turned out pretty good, you know, stuffing this resin, this colored resin into those barrels made it look really cool. So then the very final piece was adding a piece of black felt to the bottom of this. And boy, I was, I was really happy the way this turned out. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch the video and enjoy.